Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm really, really inspired by the paintings, um, this style painting at the moment. This was my diagonal tilt. This one was my zigzag tilt. And I created them by putting little frog tape dividers on the canvas. Um, so I'm now, instead of going for my straight lines, I'm going for curved lines. I've got a really, really cool design, which I've drawn out on a canvas, um, which is lots of curved lines. And I've created the little dividers from frog, uh, frog tape um, in the hope that I can pour some paint on and keep them separate, then lift up the dividers at the end. Um, so similar to these two, but with a really fun circular design. So let me show you. Might look a bit odd at the moment. Um, in fact, if I have it this way, you might be able to see it a bit more and understand it a bit more. So there's this little circle here, half circle, little half circle here, and then lots of curves in between. Um, so it took me quite a while to do this. Um, I've um, folded the frog tape over so you've got the dry non-sticky part both sides and then a little tiny sticky bit underneath. And then the key to getting this into, into a round shape is to put little cuts in it. You can see it there perfectly. Um, by putting the little cuts, it just allows me to make this, um, to make them rounded. Um, so colour-wise, these I think um, this is I think my new favourite ever combination. So I've got Amsterdam. Um, what one is it? I haven't. Got, I'm not organised here. Amsterdam permanent blue violet. I've got Venetian rose, the purple one, the pinky purple one, um, permanent red violet here, bronze, and then this one is Montmartre white. So I'm going to layer up two cups. Um, I think with the bronze and the violet and then the Venetian rose and the purple. Um, yeah, and then two cups and then I'm going to alternate where I pour them. Um, so it's going to be an alternating contrast. Um, all the paints are mixed with PVA glue and water. I'll put the recipe in the description of the video. I'm going to lay, layer up two cups. I've decided I'm putting the lighter purple with the bronze, the darker purple with the rose, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of white in as well in each cup. So let's go with that order. So first cup, I'm just have a little bit of white in the bottom. I want to do quite thin layers of paint. So I'm just gonna run the paint down the side and just alternate the colours. Probably slightly less of the white in each layer than the other two colours. Right, that is looking so pretty. What a beautiful combination. So one cup, I may need to mix up more, but I'm just going to do one cup to start with. And then the same again with the other colours. Right, two beautiful looking cups of paint. I think the plan, well, I haven't really got a plan. Um, and my, I think my idea is to do some little ring pours along each panel. Now this panel is gonna be very tricky. I'm actually gonna to have to hold this open while I pour it, I think. I think that's my plan. So I've got one cup of paint for each color. So I will do a ring pour, then I will stop and then start with another one. Um, and then I will have to do a little bit of tilting, but I don't, I'm going to try and really not get too much paint on the canvas. So I'm hoping once the paint is there, it will just naturally just spread out a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to start here. So I'm just going to pinch my cup a little bit just to create a funnel. Right, I got loads and loads of paint on. I didn't mean to get that much paint on. 
and I didn't get a good ring because it was all jagged. Oh well, I've started now. Right, not sure how I feel about this yet. <laughs> the colours are beautiful. The white is actually puffing up. It's actually quite reactive. So it's actually making some really beautiful effects. So although I said I didn't like that first one, actually it's really looking quite pretty. And maybe it's a good thing, it just looks quite, quite different to the other, the other panels. Right, let's, I'll give it a torch first and then I'm going to try and stretch it slightly to tilt a bit of the colour off. What shall I do? Let's try and tilt some off this way, just so I can get all the, paint, all the canvas covered and thin this paint out a little bit. Right, that's a fair bit tilted off, which is good. Um, I've got to sort the edges out. The edges haven't worked at all at the moment. They've got lots of bare, bare bits. And there's some bare bits here. But I think instead of keep tilting, I'm just going to just dab the edge with the drips of paint. I might do that once I've taken the tape up. Right. It's a bit crazy. All the panels are so, so different. I'm not so keen on that big white bit there. I wonder if I could just tilt some of that off. Right, I think I'm just going to give that a minute just to settle back down again before I take the tape off. Let's give it another torch. And then, of course, when I take the tape off, if it um, the lines move a bit, it really doesn't matter because they're curved lines. I think I'm just going to go for it. So I'm just going to hold it. In fact, that one, let's just add a bit more paint on there first. Right, let's take these up. I'm hoping, no, I haven't done it right there. I'm hoping there's enough paint that the colours will actually close up, but I can see, I just sense that that's not going to close up there. That one closed perfectly. 
you want enough paint that they're going to close up but you don't want so much that it's going to totally flow and distort That is absolutely nuts. That is absolutely crazy. I quite like it though. And I think the reason I like it is I like the colours. It has a drip there. First time I've ever dripped the paint while I've paint taking them up. I think I took, took that piece up too slowly. Right, I need to help the paints to come together because they're they're separate. I think I'm just going to need to help it a little bit. So it's absolutely nuts, absolutely bonkers, completely crazy, but I love it. I'm so happy. Um, but, and the reason I'm happy is you've got the lines, you've got the contrast, but it's not so stark that it's it's 
it looks wrong. So the colours are all very samey. They all do blend together. It's a total jumble of details, cells, lines, um, a real mishmash of fluid art. Um, but it's worked. So the dividers really are working. I'm really able to see that separation. And I think it's easier when the lines are curved because if they're straight lines, it has to be spot on. Um, I like things absolutely precise, absolutely perfect. But because these lines are curved, it just doesn't matter if there's a little bit of a, a wiggle or a variation. Um, I'm always tempted just to keep going with a painting and just add more. Um, but I think I'm going to try my hardest just to leave this alone now. Um, and I might come back and embellish it a little bit when it's dry, add in a little bit more definition of the lines. I'm not sure. I might just leave it the same. I'm not sure. Um, so fingers crossed this dries okay. There's a lot of paint on it, so there's a chance that it will crack. So fingers crossed, I'll be back when it's dry. The painting is now dry. It has worked. I'm so happy. I have not touched it. I haven't done anything to it. With the last pour I did like this, I just um, painted through the lines. I just, I just embellished it a little bit. This is exactly how I left it. I love it. The colours are just beautiful. What a, just a lovely combination of colours. Um, and the lines have just held themselves. So they, they, they moved maybe very slightly, but so you can see, for example, a slight wobble there, um, but it just doesn't matter. Um, I think if it's a curved line, it just doesn't matter whether it keeps its shape or not, because it just, you can see, oh no, here, it's just slightly um, bendy. It just doesn't matter though. It just adds to the to the fun of the painting. Um, so I'm really pleased how I did the two cups because pouring from different portions of the cup gives different effects. So actually no panel is the same and the color just falls over the edge um, all the way round. Um, and it's really iridescent. You can really see the shine from the um, bronze in there. So it's really worked, really happy. Not sure where I'm gonna go next with this. Um, excited to think of some new ideas if you have any ideas of shapes or styles or patterns you think i could use with this technique let me know because i'm i'm really up for trying um, some new things great thank you so much for watching if you like it please do hit that thumbs up button um, and please do subscribe to my channel great take care everyone bye